there's this enormous potential just looking at the physical quantity of energy that's in the planet. It's something on the order of 10 to the 31 joules of heat, which if you were to divide that by the annual energy demand of the planet as a whole, uh, it would take millions of years to exhaust this resource. Quaze is commercializing a novel drilling technology that we call millimeter wave drilling with the chief goal of unlocking the largest untapped clean source of energy on the planet, which is geothermal energy. Prior to funding Quaze in the Open 2018 solicitation, RPAE had only one project that they had funded. It was a laser drilling project going back to the early 2010s, and there had been no activity in geothermal, enhanced or traditional geothermal systems. Currently, we want to greatly increase the depth limitation of what drilling technology can achieve in terms of drilling these ultra-deep, super-deep boreholes. As it stands, most geothermal holes are drilled to, say, one, two, maybe three kilometers depth at that, but they're very shallow. When you get down to this basement rock that is present everywhere at a certain depth, what you would find is as you go deeper, you're uniformly now in rock that is very hard, it is crystalline, it is abrasive, and it's just generally challenging to drill with mechanical drilling methods. So as you're going deeper, you're going into that basement rock, the rate of penetration begins to slow down as you're trying to crush through this harder, more competent rock than what is the norm drilling in shallower overburden formations because most of this drilling equipment isn't necessarily rated to the temperatures where geothermal power can be vastly economic, especially at temperatures exceeding 300, 400 degrees Celsius. We have a very high power source of microwave, the gyrotron. We're using microwaves to heat dielectric materials in a similar fashion. Simply replacing your conventional drilling assembly, your drill bits, your drill pipe, your drilling muds, all of the electronics and mechanical tools needed downhole to integrate those components, we're replacing those with simple pipe, the waveguide, microwave energy and purge gas coming down the pipe, hits the rock, rock vaporizes, condenses into ash, purge gas circulates that ash up hole for removing, ultimately allowing us to make our hole. This concept was initially conceived at the MIT Plasma Science and Fusion Center, who is still a key partner as part of this RPE award. They'd spent decades working in fusion research, kind of had the epiphany realizing it that, okay, drilling for geothermal energy is a very significant challenge, but I know of some technology here in fusion that could actually potentially drill through the rocks with microwave energy. I was also introduced to Carlos Racket. Carlos, coming from Schlumberger, has over a decade of experience in oil and gas technology development, technology transfer. He did the due diligence for himself to see that this concept really had some weight behind it. It was not violating the laws of physics. It was really engineering challenges that needed to be solved. We got together and founded Quays to be the commercial vehicle of this proposal that would be the main party responsible for commercializing the millimeter wave drilling technology. We could do 200 gigawatts. This would be powering uh, 100 million homes. The potential is, is just a mess. And it's not going away, it's there. Technology development in the geothermal is just a huge white space in terms of drilling technologies, stimulation technologies, exploration technologies and techniques. All these different areas whereby innovation is needed and if that innovation is successful, we have a clean energy resource that is like an El Dorado of clean energy. It's just a vast amount of it just at our fingertips.